Okay, welcome back baseball fans. We're going to do a, uh, another video here in the uh, Apple, Apple Master Baseball Game Tutorial Series. Um, today I want to cover the uh, pitching change table. Um, so we're going to compare the uh, Master Game um, uh, pitching change table with bases empty to the uh, basic game. So years ago, uh, if you guys remember... Um, Dick Sites and his advertising would strongly recommend uh, not buying the Master Game unless you're totally familiar with the uh, Basic Game. And uh, I think it's uh, it was kind of interesting advertising and he would do, but um, he kind of was. Uh, I think what he was trying to do was just he didn't want to scare people away from the Master Game um, because uh, definitely having a good grasp of the basic game uh, really enhances your um, enjoyment of the master game because uh, there's definitely a, a lot of similarities that you're going to see in these videos so um, the basic base is empty as you guys know um, from the Apple master board so you have the, the uh, four pitcher grades you have the D C B and the A A being the best uh, D being the worst uh, and, you know, classic APA, the grade C pitcher takes away the uh, play result 9. Uh, the grade B pitcher uh, takes away the play result 8, which is typically a more powerful hit number. Uh, and the grade A pitcher, uh, he takes away a couple of them, so he'll take away the 8 and the 9 on a bases empty. Um, so just, uh, that's something that most app me you know, folks have played a lot of APA know that's it's the basic how it works with uh, bases empty C and 8 you got a B pitcher that's a fly to center so um, if you're making the jump to the master game um, how the master game handles that is they again they don't have letter grades but they do have 30 numerical grades you can see at the top of the chart there it's 1 to 30 uh, with 1 being the worst uh, 30 being the best um, uh, now, looking at these, uh, you're going to see that um, this pitching change table, not just bases empty, but you're going to see the other ones, uh, pretty much just equates to the um, A, B, C, D. Uh, it's the same as the basic game. I'm going to show you why. So, uh, if you look at the play, um, play result 9, and if you see a number here, this will be the out. So, like this would be like a pop out the second, pop out the shore, fly to center... Uh, grounder to short, grounder to third. So you can see the uh, play result nine uh, gets taken away by the grade eight through 12 pitchers. So when you're playing the master game um, and you look at your cards, uh, if you see a pitcher with a, anywhere between a grade eight and 12, he's going to be like a C pitcher. He is actually most likely is a C pitcher if you look at his basic grade on his car. So when you're rolling the game, um, anywhere like 8 to 12 is going to be like a C pitcher. Let's go to the B. So remember 8 takes away, um, a grade B takes away those. Also a B and an A. So you could see starting with 13, going all the way to the very end, they all get turned into outs. So that would be the B and the A pitchers going all the way up to the very end. A, B, A, C will probably be back here as well. Um, so you can see it's very similar to the uh, basic game. So, and then of course, the, if you have a pitcher in the game who's a, say a seven or less, he'd be almost like a uh, like a D pitcher. So, uh, one cool thing about the master game is it does um, take away some of those hits on that number ten result. Um, and you'll usually see that if you can get to a grade 7 or a grade 12. And then also on the base is empty on a grade, uh, looks like, uh, what is uh, 15, 16, 17. And also, again, if you get up to the grade uh, 20 and above, you'll, the 10 will get taken away except for the 29, 30. So if you compare that to the basic board, you can see a 10 is going to be a straight single to center every single time. Which is kind of cool because it gives that uh, guy that's just short of the C a chance of getting out there on a 10. And also the 12 uh, player pitcher is uh, pretty good in the master game as well because he, he could turn that into a ground out. Uh, one other nice feature of the pitching change table when you're playing the Apple Master game 
is the um, if you roll a 12 or 35 play result, uh, if you have a really, really bad pitcher, say he's a grade one or two, remember one's like the worst possible pitcher, uh, he can give up a hit on a uh, play result 12 or 35. And he actually gives up two hits, 12 gives up hits on a uh, grade one and two. Um, and then even the uh, the higher grades, they get hits on a 12 and 35 as well. All right, and a couple other features of the uh, pitching change table. So um, you can see these L and M. So if a pitcher uh, is in the game and uh, the batter hits a double, um, if the pitcher has a uh, grade of an M on his card, um, a letter of an M grade or an L grade, and you look over here and if you he rolls a double, you can see it's not going to get changed at all to a single, but uh, if he hits a double, base is empty. If he has an M rating, uh, that double is going to get converted to a home run as long as he has a 1 uh, on his card. On the exact opposite, if a player hits a home run and if a pitcher has a G or H rating, and let's say it's a grade 10 pitcher with an H and you roll a home run, if you see an H here, that home run is going to convert to a double. So the master game can convert uh, doubles to homers and homers to doubles. And let's just take another step further. Um, this is another really nice feature of the master game. So one complaint of the basic game was the... Um, pitchers didn't have any effect on extra base hits in the basic game so you could be like a great a b c x y double z um but if you are playing the basic game and you get a four base is empty that's going to be a double no matter how good the pitcher is now one nice thing the master game adds is uh if you roll a four and your pitcher is a grade nine um he's going to turn that double that four double See grade four to double. It could convert that double into a single or three, which is kind of a rare result, but it could convert three in singles. So we have some more, even the five result, which is pretty common on a lot of power hitters cards, like a grade 17 uh, can convert that double um, to a single, which is a seven. That's the play result seven. Another cool thing is on that uh, roll zero, so you get those guys that get a zero, get in the second column. If you have a really good pitcher, uh, say grade 24 to 28, uh, he's not even going to give that guy a chance to get to his second column. He's going to automatically turn that zero to a seven. So you can see these high grade pitchers can take away those extra base hits as well up here. So that's another cool thing about the master game is it does allow the pitcher to have an effect on the extra base hits. Um, so let's take a quick look at um, how the batting characteristic works with these. Um, so I didn't want to get too long. So what I have here is the 86 um, All-Star set from APA. And we're just going to run through um, how the cards affect the uh, grade or the pitcher. Because uh, one of the coolest things about the um, APA Master game is a pitcher's numerical grade can change batter to batter, which is really cool. So, um, so in this leadoff, this is a, we have George Brett, 1986 George Brett versus uh, Sid Fernandez. This is the 86 All-Star game. So you can see down here is Fernandez's master game grade. He's a 12 and he's a lefty. Okay, and Brett um, is a lefty as well. So... At the bottom of the hitter's card, you're going to see these, uh, on the modern season, you're going to have split batting characteristics. So SA means a straightaway hitter. Minus 10, since it's before the slash, means he's going to add 10 points to that pitcher's grade if he's a lefty. If he's, bat if he's a, a lefty. So the first one is a versus lefties. The second number, the plus 3, is Brett's grade versus a righty. Okay. So let's look at um, a couple batters. Now you could, you're going to see how his grade changes. So let's say Brett steps into the box against Sid Fernandez. Um, you could see he's adding 10. So you're going to add 10 to this number here, 12. 
So all of a sudden, looking at your uh, master game grade, so all of a sudden, um, Sid Fernandez started out as a little C pitcher here, the, a 12. He is now uh, going to be a 22 against uh, Fernandez or against Brett. So 30, 26, 34. So he's going to take away hits on eight nines and ten. So Brett must have struggled against lefties here in 1986. And you're going to see that almost assure you if you go to baseball reference, you're going to check Brett's splits. And he's going to have a lower OPS, most likely against lefties, much lower than he got against righties. Now let's bring in another pitcher here from the 86 All-Stars. Let's say he's going to bat a righty. Uh, let's see who we're going to bring in here. Let's get a righty and take a look at him. Okay, this is good. Another good comparison. Okay, so let's say George Brett steps into the box against Dwight Gooden. Okay, so George Brett now, uh, a plus actually hurts the pitcher. So a plus means the batter's better. Minus means the batter's worse. We're looking at the batter's card. So George Brett versus righties is a plus three. So that means he's going to knock three points off of any righty he faces. So that's natural. You think a lefty versus righty. You know, Brett's probably seeing righties better. So, so Gooden would start out as a 14, which is like a solid, remember, like a grade uh, grade B pitcher. Is he a grade B pitcher? Yes, he's a grade B pitcher. So Brett, being that he's good against righties, is going to knock three points off of Gooden's 14. So he's going to knock him down to an 11. So Brett, uh, being he's better against righties, he's going to turn Dwight Gooden into a C pitcher. Just for that at bat. And you can see it can change batter to batter. So this one's another lefty. He's not uh, Wally Joyner. He's against Gooden. He's knocking him down three. So Gooden would go down to 11. Uh, Whitaker is a lefty two. So he's knocking, uh, he'll knock Gooden down two. So Gooden will go down to a 12. Again, down to a C. Kyle Ripken, now on the other hand, against righties, um, He's going to add six. So Ripken, being a righty himself, is not as good against righties. But you can see the damage he does against lefties. He knocks them down 11. So Ripken's going to add six. So if Ripken was facing Gooden, he's going to knock Gooden up to a grade 20. And if you look at the chart here, he's, Gooden's going to go from a B up to a grade 20. And now he's an A pitcher. So he's going to take away... Looks like eights, nines, and tens. So that's one of the cool things about the, uh, that's how the master game handles the left-right splits, is it's all based on that batting characteristic and that pitcher's grade. And you apply it to this uh, pitching change table, uh, which is a lot of fun to use. It's one of the nice features of the master game. So uh, one of the next videos, we're going to get a little more into the, um, uh, probably the fielding column finder. I'm going to try to do a couple of these videos a week um, so I can cover mostly everything in the master game. Uh, but that's just how the uh, main point today is I just want to get across that the uh, master game 30 grades uh, ends up being still breaks down to about four grades anyways. Just if you look at these ranges of the uh, when hits get taken away. So like I said, then the, the C's are going to be the 8s to the 12s. Uh, the B is going to be 13 up to the uh, 18. And then once you get to 18, that's when your A is going to start. And uh, then you get into like your A's, B's, C's up here. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys have a great week. And I'll see you guys next uh, weekend. Another video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.